Good morning guys, welcome back to Tim's Cotswold Farm. Bit of news for you, I've gone and bought some more sheep. They're being transported down from the north by Gordon Gilder. Now usually they would go into his yard and then you'd have to go and collect it, but very kindly, Sean Gilder has offered to actually bring them from his yard down here. Because they've come from up north, they're usually on really wet, boggy, peaty type grounds, which means they're susceptible to worms and liver fluke. So what we're gonna do, when the wagon comes down the road, um, I'm gonna go and get some hurdles from the farm and just create a pen here. I'm then going to worm them all and then they can go out into this paddock for the short term. So they'll stay here for let's say three, four weeks whilst they flush themselves out. It will also give me a chance to get to know them, to start feeding them and then we can move them into the larger field. So my parents got a new bath like four or five years ago and this pallet actually came with it and it's the perfect way of moving hurdles around. For anyone that knows working with sheep and cattle, hurdles are an absolute nightmare. They're not that heavy but then you carry two, three, four of them and they trap your fingers and you outbalance them. It's a complete nightmare. Anyway, so I've got this frame and the macro just picks it up and then we can carry it wherever we need to. So Dad's actually just around here as well. So we're going to pop up, use the macro. We're going to go and get it all set up. And I think the sheep are probably coming later on this afternoon. And turn around. Right, so we've done that the only thing we're going to do is just put the frame over that corner just to stop the sheep pushing and it'll provide a bit of extra protection so we're going to do that and then we're going to head back to the farm <laughs> Right, there we are. So that's sorted. Got my gate man. Here's the wagon. Just rolling in. We'll try and offload him into here, I guess. There you are, tentatively coming out. Stand back. They don't tend to like obstacles, which means this is going to put them off a little bit. I just hope they don't run down the side. First North Country mules coming out. Edward is going to love these. They look in good condition. Look at that one up on the deck. He's like, nope, that is another way to go. Beautiful. Driver just going to pull forward so we can shut the tailgate because obviously it's getting caught on all those branches. Sheep have already decided to cause a nuisance. He's trying to bite the bars. We've got some tricksy sheep on our hands. So obviously they've been traveling probably for the past hour. Let them just simmer down a little bit and then I'm going to worm them. So there we go. I'm just quickly checking that that gate over there and this gate is shut just before we let them out. That gate is all tied up. I can see that is there's two gates with a footpath in the middle. So it's just making sure that that's shut, which it is. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do give it a big thumbs up. Please subscribe. Hope you've enjoyed this content. It's a bit different, but obviously we've got some new sheep on the farm and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye. You look suspicious. Have we done you? Yeah. And there we go.